the faith walk of the day. Today, I want to talk about making good choices. I want to talk about putting your spirit first. I want to talk about um, looking past what's right in front of you. Sometimes when you're looking down and you're so focused on looking down, you cannot look forward. And I know there's a, a lot of different thinkings on on you got to keep your eyes ahead but sometimes you have to say you have to think the whole thing through if i make this choice in my life what does it mean a few months from now if i make this choice what does it mean years from now how can this turn around to bite me how you know you have to pay attention when you are knowingly making a bad decision when you are knowingly being um irresponsible knowingly putting your faith aside knowingly you know doing something that you know just a little bit cricket you know that's how that's how the snake, that's how Satan got Eve. You know, he didn't blatantly tell her, eat the apple and disregard God. He said, you shall not surely die. And if you eat this, you know, God tells you don't eat the tree or you shall surely die. And he didn't tell her don't do it. He just was a little deceptive. Yeah, will you? I'm telling you, once you start rationalizing with your future and rationalizing with your career and rationalizing with your family and even with your body, with your choices, with things that you eat, you should always stop and pay attention. What will it cost me? What will this choice cost me? Um, I, I, I thank God that, that sometimes I've, I've made the right choice. Sometimes I've made the wrong choice, and we thank God for grace. But, you know, as you grow older, you start to make better decisions. I know somebody's driving and listening right now going, gosh, what choices could I make today that could be better for my future? You know, how could I be more disciplined in my thinking and in my actions that could lead to um, something great for my future yes the choice to do the right thing may be a little harder yes the choice to do the right thing may require more of me but it will pay off in the end don't do the easy thing don't do the most popular thing sometimes you have to do what is unpopular sometimes you have to be the one in the room going nah yeah yeah i'm not gonna i'm not going because this don't feel right you know what i mean you don't worry about how it's gonna look you don't worry about what they're going to say you just do the right thing and i you know i know sometimes people think that's just a young pe person's problem but no it is some old mature people that are making some wrong choices and wrong decisions just because you are not you're not being more responsible not being disciplined you know, sometimes you have to do the right thing. And the choice is on you. No one can make this choice to do the right thing but you. No one can say, no, I'm going to put my family first. No, I'm going to put my finances first. I'm going to put my relationship with Christ first before my feelings, before my emotions. Your feelings are going to lead you wrong every single time. Your feelings is what makes you rationalize. It's okay. It's not that bad. It's just all I'm doing is it's not going to hurt nobody, but it will it hurt your future. Will it hurt your progress you got to think about it think things all the way through think back past what my feeling and what my flesh is saying right now what is how does this play out down the line in my life how does this hurt my destiny how does this damage my character how does this damage my influence will this come out and mess up everything just because of one bad choice let's be smarter with our lives and smarter with our choices okay that is my faith walk of the day ladies and gentlemen